This video was made to demonstrate some new features of Smart Camera View 2.77. Other versions may have some differences. Add new features in Camera Name Group to rename camera. Now you can rename all cameras by 3ds Max file name, by camera class, or just use numbers. And now our button will works like a check button. It will also save its state when restarting the script, and automatically apply it when adding a new camera. Added new PX squared button in render output group. Click to automatically adjusts resolution based on pixel count limit. Right click to configure pixel count limit and learn more. Add a new preset button in render output group. New render output preset manager. You can add your custom preset with name here, and apply it to currently selected cameras. It is very useful if you want to set up a bunch of presets for yourself, and use for different projects, instead of just having three buttons to save temporary presets like 2.68 and earlier. Added new option use 3ds Max batch render settings, open 3ds Max default batch render dialog to use more settings, like render presets and scene state, when hit script render button. The views will be set up ready just like using a script, all cameras or selected cameras. Add a new script system settings in other settings group. This is where all the parameters and system options of the script are located, including the distance between dialogues, the camera list height, options for starting and exiting the script, and so on. In addition to the newly added options, some options in the existing settings will also be moved to this section, include switch on start, with use hot switch option, save dialogue position, save dialogue state, use sticky dialogue, with reverse order, automatically rename duplicate cameras. The way this system settings panel works will also be a bit different from the current setting, when you have to click OK or apply to have the script restart and apply the settings, instead of taking effect immediately like normal settings. And many more fixes and improvements, learn more at d95design.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.